Right now, I think for us, it's a conference championship or a bust. You know, I think that's what, that's what the whole team wants. I think that's what we're locked in on. So that's all we've been thinking about. We're going to have a sold-out crowd. We're very, very excited about it. 45,971 souls are going to fill the Sun Bowl. We're very, very uh, jazzed about it. It's perhaps the biggest home game in 14 years. Only 5,000 tickets left, but UTEP is expecting to sell out the Sun Bowl for Saturday's clash with North Texas. They also want an orange out. All fans... Wear orange, arrive early because traffic could be wild. The reason for the hype is, of course, UTEP's trip to the New Mexico Bowl a year ago and the team that's coming back for Dana Dimmel's fifth season with the Miners. Expectations are higher than they've been in years. UTEP has been focusing on uh, offseason on learning how to handle that, perhaps most importantly to a potentially great season. The Miners themselves believe that they can be great. KTSM 9 Sports' Sam Guzman has more on how the Miners are managing these expectations. In five days, more than 40,000 people are expected to fill the seats here at the Sun Bowl as the Miners open up their season against North Texas. It's a season where expectations are higher than ever before, especially after last year where the Miners collected a winning record and made a bowl game appearance for the first time since 2014. That is all now in the past, and the Miners are focused on showing why they'll be a team to be reckoned with in Conference USA, and it all starts on Saturday. It's going to be one of our toughest tests all year uh, and as a coach that's coming right out of the gate for your opening game so we got to be ready and we got to play really good football uh, from snap one. I can't remember the last time we beat them so uh, I'm, I'm, I really want to get these guys and uh, come out and get that victory because we need it we need to start the season right. The Miners got a great taste of winning in 2021 and now they want more sites are set on being one of the top dogs in Conference USA and learning how to play well with high expectations has been a focus of the offseason. I feel like we used to come into games and not really sure what was going to happen you know now that we've seen how to win we learned how to win that's what we want and that's what we're going to try to get. And I feel like we're a lot more locked in you know like Ray was saying we learned how to win last year so just trying to you know pick up where we left off and continue that until this year you know so the preparation has really been really been great this year the only way we're going to be successful is in the way we prepare and so that's the message i've been sending to our guys you know what what those guys have done in the past really right now you know our expectations are to win every football game but we're only going to win them one at a time now the miners are looking for their first win over north texas since 2016 utep wants all the fans in attendance to wear orange and orange out the sun bowl kickoff is set for 7 p.m on Saturday. For now, reporting at the Sun Bowl, Sam Guzman, KTSM 9 Sports. Thank you, Sam. Elsewhere at UTEP, linebacker Breon Hayward is still waiting to hear from the NCAA regarding his waiver for a sixth year of eligibility. However, he was still listed as a starter on UTEP's depth chart today. Dana Dimmel would not discuss his status for the North Texas game. Perhaps a bit of gamesmanship here from the Miners. They don't want to give the Mean Green any added advantage. So we'll just have to see Saturday if Hayward is out there. Up the